morning on the prairie. It was a very cold night last night. Um, I think it actually dipped below 30 degrees just for a tiny bit. I was fine in my sleeping bag, but once I got out of my sleeping bag, it was it was pretty chilly. Just look around here. So I think the high is only supposed to be in the 50s today, um, which is weird because all the other days it's going to go back up to the 70s. But I got up really early today and I fumbled around in the dark a little bit, which was fun trying to find blazes in the dark. And I wanted to get to Forever Florida, which is a trail friendly business. There's a blaze. Um, before their food closes today, that was about 18 miles from my campsite. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> we'll see. But I wanted to get there early. Um, Cause I also need to ask permission to use their campsite because there is a lack of campsites in this section. But morning on the prairie, a little bit of frost, very cold. Swing it around. And that is my shadow. So I'm still walking through the palmettos. I've been walking through it pretty much all day. It's late morning right now. And I've got about two miles, and then I hit a highway. So, you know, it wouldn't be Florida Trail without at least one road walk per day, right? Um, it's only a couple miles, and then I should be hitting the Forever Florida area. I'm not going to get there in enough time to, to eat food there. They're going to be closed. Well, the restaurant's going to be closed by the time I get there. But I need to ask permission to use their campground tonight. So, unless I pick up the pace, I hope there's cell signal around there because I might be calling because I think it's a, about a half mile off trail to Forever Florida itself, the center, um, and then I would have to do a half mile back. So I don't know if I have the wiggle room as far as daylight today to add that extra mile. So I guess we'll see when we get there. All right, I just entered the uh, Forever Florida property and lucky enough I had cell signal. I haven't had cell signal in a while so I was able to call the office and ask if I could use their campsite tonight um, and they said yes so, so that's good so otherwise I was gonna have to make that mile detour to the office and back and then maybe fight daylight to get to the campground but now that I don't have to do that I should get there during the day, which would be great. And they call it their primitive campground, but on the description they have flush toilets and showers. So not really that primitive, kind of fancy in my opinion, but uh, <laughs> but I have a place to stay for the night. So that is, that is good. Okay, here it is, rounding in on the primitive quote unquote primitive uh, campground owned by Forever Florida. I didn't get on property in time to eat at the restaurant, but I am getting to my campground with daylight despair. So that is a success.